Hello friends, Axel here. Today, we are going to answer the quick question of, can you DaVinci Resolve on a Steam Deck? And, um, the answer is kind of, which I wasn't expecting. I thought it was going to be a straight up no, but, um, yeah, let's dive into that. Now, as you can see immediately, this is not stock Steam OS. This is, for all intents and purposes, this is the same as Bazite under the hood. It's just basically my custom Bazite adjacent thing. But um, yeah, it's basically Bazite. If you don't know what Bazite is, it's a project by the Universal Blue community. I've done a quick overview video of Universal Blue and stuff on the channel already. You can see that in the... um little card thing in the top right of the video. Uh, basically, what I have on my deck here is close enough to Bazite to where I'm just going to say it's Bazite. And um, the method we're going to be using, what we're going to be, what uh, we're using to run DaVinci Resolve should be usable on standard SteamOS, because I think SteamOS includes DistroBox now. We're going to be using DaVinci Box, which, uh, shameless plug, is my own project, which is a... Uh, as I've worded it here, a container for DaVinci Resolve installation and runtime dependencies on Linux. I have a video on this as well. We're not going to go too much into the details of how this works or how to get it set up. Um, everything you should need to know is in the readme here. And so that is how we got DaVinci Resolve installed. So it is running in DaVinci Box. And let's go to our applications. We go to open DaVinci Resolve. And when I first tested this, I expected DaVinci to just not even launch or anything. Which it seems like it's about to do. Wait, that's not that's not what's supposed to happen. Wait, why do I not have the content? Oh, wait a minute. I might be dumb and I might have gotten rid of the container already. Oh yeah, that's exactly what I did. Okay, never mind, we are actually installing it again. Hold on. Alright, change of plans. This is going to be a quick and dirty how to use DaVinci Box on Steam Deck video. So you extract that, we go here, we go to setup.sh, download raw file, that'll go to your downloads folder. For simplicity, we are going to cut and paste that into here and make that executable. You can also do that from the terminal. Open in console. Bring this up and we do dot slash setup.sh on the DaVinci Resolve run file. And now we uh, wait for that to install. Okay, we get to the end of the installation. Hit yes for desktop shortcuts. Okay, we can close the terminal. Good new workspace and click to start. And surprisingly, It actually it actually loads up. No no GPU errors or anything. However, going to an un this untitled project here. Uh, so what one issue it, it doesn't fill the screen right, but that's just I can't resize it either as far as I've been able to try. Even with like the usual window management shortcuts that you have in Linux doesn't really work. Um, so that's one glaring downside. Now I do have some clips ready to go here too, unless I deleted those too. I did not. Okay, so this clip is uh, AV1, which Resolve does support in the free version on Linux. We can drag that in. Uh, sure, change that, doesn't matter. Let's go to the edit page and that thumbnail made it look like it would work, but um, yeah, all, all, all we get is uh, this media offline thing. So yeah, DaVinci Resolve on Steam Deck.
Um, it surprisingly kind of almost works, but then it doesn't. So yeah. Um, okay, bye.